Greetings fellow humans, it's Melinda the Good. We're back again with some more curious expedition. So we're leaving the village and we're going to explore a bit. And um, I didn't realize I could actually wait instead of nearly dying on our way to the village. So not much has happened except as we left the village, we noticed that we are being followed. This usually happens when the villagers are really annoyed with us. They, they send a... Well, pretty much a war party after us, basically. So we're not in a very good spot. But we're going to continue traveling. I think I'm still riding... Oh, no, I'm not riding Miss Winters. When I do ride Miss Winters, though, I do lose two, um, two inventory slots. Which is unfortunate, but it does conserve on sanity, I believe. Okay, and we're going to try to head this way, because that's where our compass over here is trying to point out. It's trying to point out the um, the exit, basically, for us. We can't cross the water. Oh, there's butterflies over here. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to catch butterflies with. There is a question mark over here, but it does cost 18 sanity. And it's not really on our way. So I think I'll bypass it for now. I'm sure we'll find more events along the way. Okay, we're slowly making our way up. This is actually a pretty big map. After this, I think... So we're going to be using rope here to help us get across this area more effectively. Luckily, we still have a bit of rope. Even though the natives pretty much shafted us. Oh, this is not a good area. It's going to cost a lot of sanity to trek through this area, so I think I'm going to try resting. We are very, very, very far behind the, the rest of the group, but I don't want to die. So... Do I not get sanity back for this? I thought I would get sanity. I tried resting, but nothing seemed to have happened. Ooh, there's nothing over here. Uh, we would go insane if we go over there. Can I try resting a bit more? No, and Miss Lovelace is just beating us straight for the... Okay, we might have to eat more chocolates. Let's go slowly. That's malaria. Insanity risk is 40. Mosquitoes, we don't want to be there at all. We are pretty insane. What a lovely start. I think I have to keep going. Despite going insane, we might lose our cook. Luckily, we didn't have to fight anything just yet. Or we could eat food. You know what? Let's just eat one chocolate. Oh, the, the cook really likes it. That's nice. Okay, we're still exploring and trying to find the period and we have to get out of here. ASAP. Okay, I'm gonna eat the rest of my chocolates. I don't want to go insane. Go slowly. Oh, the pyramid is right here in front of us. You know what? Let's let's leave. We're not in a good spot. There was the golden pyramid enthroned above the landscape. Success! Okay, let's enter and get the hell out of here. After all this hardship, euphoria overcame me. I knew that the name Huang Fei Hong would go down in the annals of the world history, become a legend. Okay, we did find the pyramid, but I don't know. We were pretty close to losing it. Oh, we were in first place too. Sweet. What's report? Oh, new window, never mind. Okay, let's finish the expedition. Oh, look, there we are. We're in England for some reason, but I'm not gonna question it too much. Okay, so we get it. after each expedition, we get to choose a perk, something, a permanent bonus effect that will last for the rest of the expeditions. Ooh, this is useful. Um, so this is, these two are kind of conflicting. 
I could recruit more people to my team or survive a little longer on my own. I think I'm gonna go with the waterproof. Because we went insane really quickly going through that jungle there. Oh, they're so happy. Okay, let's see. Oh, everyone returned home. No one died. They all have a bunch of treasures. And we are in second place, but close. Okay, so now we go through all the things that we found. The golden plate, covered with delicate decorations with embedded chrysol cola turquoise. This is worth more fame than funds, so I think I will gift it to the museum. So I think that's gift. There's no point in keeping it. There we go. Fame went up. This one, fame is only- oh, so now we're ahead first place. Fame is only five, which is like barely anything, but it's worth a lot of money. So I'm gonna sell it for funds. Money makes the world go round! Now we have $60. And we have to choose where to go next. The Arctic or the desert? Defiled drylands? Or the merciless Arctic. Neither of these places are places that I want to go to, to be honest. This is part of the new expansion. However, I feel like I will die if I just go there. I don't- I've never been here before. I don't- I don't know what to expect. What are- what are even all of those little spots? Like, there are houses, there are igloos, and, like, frozen temples? Here, there are, like, little huts. Some caves, a shrine. I think I think maybe maybe Asians will do a little better in the desert. I don't know. We'll have to carry more water. Okay, let's start the expedition then. Eagerly anticipating the forthcoming adventure, I arrived at the harbor. The crew had preparations left to do, so I had one last pot of tea. The merchant approached me with a request. He asked us to obtain a mysterious idol that could be found in the village in the area of our upcoming expedition. He guaranteed worthwhile re rec recompense if we were able to return with it. Sure, why not? There's no penalty for failing it, so why not? He nodded gratefully and wished us luck on our expedition. The news of my glorious adventures had spread, so I was not surprised to see that the boarding of our ship had drawn quite the crowd. I was approached by several capable persons that were eager for adventure. Who do I want to recruit? The diplomat? Ooh, that might be useful. Tim Timster and Louis. So when picking picking um a new party member, I've also also this um I have to think about their dice rolls. Because that's gonna be useful in combat. And it looks like James Sterling, the diplomat, actually knows how to do some fighting. Tim Timster, who's obviously a Tintin look-alike, doesn't do much for combat. Zachariah Overton the Sailor. He's very defensive, and he has more carrying capacity. Um, can I pick one and mouse over what they do? Oh no, here. Increase effectiveness of flares, but it's very superstitious. So red is obviously bad. Ooh, decreases prices from bartering. That's good. And Tim Timster can gain fame for each expedition by taking pictures. I'm actually leaning a little bit towards James Sterling, the diplomat, because just of the fighting capabilities. I like the sailor. He does have more capacity, but I'm worried about that superstition. Yeah, they, we were pretty close to insanity. I don't need the sailor to run off with our goods. So, okay, we'll take the diplomat. Maybe the natives will be happier with us this time. We, we would improve the expedition team with a talent such as James Sterling. My heart jumped with joy as I heard that our ship was prepared to set sail. We need to buy equipment. Oh, animal improvement. A master crafter of saddles offered to improve the carrying capacity of any animals 
any of her animals. Her work was quite pricey. Ooh, 50. That is... That is very, very expensive. I'll pass for now. and see what equipment we can buy. So, machete was really useful in the forest. Which, unfortunately, we didn't have any. But... We're in the desert this time, so I don't think we'll have that much cutting to do. I don't know, do deserts have a lot of mountains? I should have paid more attention. Uh, what is this? Snowshoes? Oh, that would be good for the Arctic. So they're not expensive. Oh, the climbing gear is expensive. Maybe I'll pass on that. Maybe I'll grab some rope. Don't really need a shovel, that just takes up space. Oh, first aid kits are expensive too. What is this? Weather balloon. Collect interesting scientific data. I don't know what that does. Oh, dynamite. Can't go wrong with dynamite. Oh, we could pass through mountains. That may be useful as well. I want a bit of everything. We're well, seeing as all of this isn't super super useful i might actually just how much are the torches five i might actually improve on winters over here or buffalo i like how they give random names to your animals so nice alfred james jimmy jimmy okay um do i want to sell this no I'm going to improve capacity. Plus one capacity. Sure. I would gladly pay some extra coin to increase the capacity of Miss Winters. Within an hour, her pack saddle had been upgraded and could carry additional crate. The craftswoman seemed pleased with her work and wished me well on my forthcoming expedition. Okay, let's buy some more equipment. We do have chocolate. Oh, they're expensive. Shoot. Maybe I should have bought more chocolate. Oh well, live and learn. I will buy one chocolate. And that's all our money. Yeah, totes. Alright, let's set sail. Now that we have a diplomat, hopefully we'll be able to get on the, uh, uh, the good side of the natives, maybe. In the thick mist of raining morn rainy morning of a rainy morning, we finally reached the shore of our expedition area. I was curious to discover what adventures were waiting for us here. Let us get some water. I made sure to bring some additional water ra rations from our vessel's stocks. Wise provision was key to a prosperous journey. However, I was beginning to feel the urge to head out into the unknown. Okay, so basically the game's telling us to hurry the hell up. But we got water, we got chocolates, let's go! Okay, so we're riding Miss Winters. We're gonna sally forth into the unknown. Maybe I should have bought some machetes. It looks kind of grassy. There's some foresty areas. Ooh, a blue mountain. Magnetic mountain. That's gonna screw with our compass. So we don't actually know where the Golden Pyramid is. Let's head to this question mark. Maybe it's a village. It is! Ooh, did we level up? We did, we got to level 2. Okay, let's enter the village and see what they have. We carefully approached the village, the a mysterious native village. We encountered a tribe that were apparently in reverence of the spirit world. As we arrived, the whole village were bowed before a mysterious looking idol while a team unpacked our equipment. I observed the rites with interest. A peculiar stone idol stood proudly in the heart of the village. The, vil the natives observed us with intrigue. They were kind and offered to help our cause. So this is a new area, so the new natives. So we're standing us back down to zero. They are neither friendly nor hostile towards us. Let's see if we could trade anything. Oh, what is that? Well, we can trade skills, that's new. Spear, value is eight. Water, of course, has no value. I don't really want to trade anything. Jewels would be nice. Ooh, a horned flute. Seems to be able to distract wildlife. Coca leaves. 
I heard about this. Yeah, this is like last ditch attempt to to try to gain sanity because it has a chance of making you go absolutely insane. A native trinket will improve the loyalty of a person gift. I don't actually have anything worth value to trade. They don't seem to like the tome pages. Oh wait, <gasps> tome page of targeted teleportation. I didn't realize this actually told me what it was. A page that was ripped from my ancient tome. Oh, I could target my tele- that's actually quite useful. Huh, they don't want it. What a shame. I don't want anything they, they have, so... It's fine. Maybe... Oh, well, let's see if we can recruit anyone. Sat down and spoke with the natives to find out if some of them were interested enough to seek fame and glory. However, not one of the villagers wanted to join the trek. How did we gain a bad reputation among the people? Clearly, they're welcome guests. Okay, I know that if we rest in the village, we have a chance to steal the idol, but I don't want to piss off people this early in the expedition. We'll just rest, and we'll leave on our merry way in the morning. I told the team to unpack our things and prepare for the night. In a quiet moment, one of the village elders gave us a serious look and asked if we knew who had created mankind. I'm gonna go with the I don't know because they seem spiritual and I don't wanna I don't want to offend them. We told him that we did not know the answer to this question. He nodded quietly and seemed a bit disappointed with our answer. So we have a chance to steal the idol, it, but we have to roll for it. And right now we only have a one in three chance of rolling for I don't want it. I don't like those chances. I'm gonna sleep. Gain sanity. Added a day, negative two standing. So the night was quiet and peaceful. The next morning, I woke to face a crowd of natives. It seems my snoring amused them. While we still felt welcome, we could tell that the villagers had become disturbed by our presence. Elderly woman placed some fruits by the idol. Okay, we're gonna leave. They get angry so easily. I don't remember them being so angry before. Anyways, day 13, we got ready and headed out as new adventures awaited us. The natives stared at me distrustfully. I didn't steal your idol! I don't understand why you would distrust me. And as I departed their village, the subsequent day, I caught a glimpse of a village warrior skulking behind me in the distance. Oh, they're following me again. Feel followed, and what is this? Obtain an idol from a... Oh, that was part of the quest. No wonder they did not trust me. Um... Maybe I should have stole it. No, it's still too early to plus we don't we don't know where the golden pyramid is. This blue mountain is messing with our goddamn compass. And it could be literally anywhere. Although the map seems bigger down here, so I think heading heading south seems to be the correct course of action. However, there's a ton of mountains. So I don't I don't actually know where we should go. Maybe, maybe this way. Okay, away we go. Oh wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I- I can promote my, you guys, because you guys leveled up with me. Okay, I can promote... Using exploration points. How many exp- Oh, I only have one. I could promote one of them. Ooh, decreases prices with bartering. What do you do? Ooh, cook meat to gain sanity. We could go hunting, we haven't seen any wildlife yet. Okay, I'm going to... I like sanity, but I'm going to... I'm going to upgrade James Sterling just because he does... have the combat perks. So he gets he a bit tougher. Okay, those are all my points though. Awesome, I have cool dice that I can't really read. It's fine. We are heading this way. Oh, what is this? Stone circle. Okay, let's go check that out. 14 sanity. Oh, the sanity is so expensive. Okay, let's enter the stone circle. Oh, we came across a stone formation that seemed to be man-made. There were inscriptions etched onto each rock. Perhaps they form a type of map? Okay, so we get to point- we get to learn... I think one area of the map. Okay, 
since we already pissed off the natives, maybe we want to reveal the ruins? Or maybe camp points. Camp points so we could camp down and rest. Ooh. A group of native warriors appeared and confronted us somewhat intimidatingly. They must have been following me since I left their village. Their leaders were clearly furious that my actions about my actions and demanded that I pay tribute as compensation. We have a 50-50 to deny tribute. I mean, jeez. I know I'm kind of the bad guy here disrupting their, their sacred spots and everything, but they're acting like butts. Let's try to convince them that we didn't do anything really wrong. We failed. And we go and fight now. We steeled ourselves against the intimidating native warriors, but clearly they had not been bluffing and ready their weapons. Alright, so we're gonna enter combat mode. I should not have ridden my little buffalo, cause now she can die. I'm so sorry, Miss Winters. Okay, so we get a golden die. I don't know what this does. I've never played this character before. We also have mine, so we roll first. Ooh, there's three of them. Uh, this guy has a spear. This guy also has a spear. Are they all the same? Yeah, they are. They're all the same in toughness as well. Okay, let's roll first. Okay, so I guess I could keep this. Uh, how do I keep dice? Because I know I could re roll three times. I could keep the ones that I want, and then we try to make combos with them. These are not... So they're, sh they're shaking, which means there is a combo that I could- oh, that means I could use them individually. Oh, I think to keep them, I do this. So defend, this, these seem to be okay. Although, I don't have any combos right now with any- maybe I'll reroll this one. Defend is fine. Okay, let's try rerolling. See if we have any combos. Okay, mind and shield means tactical advantage. I could gain a plus three shield. This and shield, sword and shield, post damage and shield too. That seems pretty good. This does not combo anything, but I get to heal. Maybe I want to reroll this. I don't need to heal right away. Okay, I'll keep all these three and I'll reroll. I don't know. That looks like a fancy character. Okay, Miss Winters can do some some animal damage. Does this combo with anything? No. But I can pretty much one-shot one of them with my iron wire fist, yeah! Okay, let's do that to this guy. We have tactile advantage for plus three shield. Attack can be by itself, but it's only one damage. Or I could do two damage and two shield. This doesn't do anything by itself, so I'm gonna combine those two. And horns! Alright, okay, so let's do this in proper order. Iron Wire Fist first. Let's go attack this dude. So, Iron Wire Fist, go! He's dead. I'm really sorry about this, by the way. This is not how I intended this to go. So, we're gonna mind shield for sh three. Do we get to choose who? Or is it all of us? Okay, we got three shields. This does one damage only. And Miss Winters can attack him for four. Alright, so that's the end of the round. And that's how combat usually goes. And they're gonna roll. And oh, they didn't get anything. That's great. Okay, we get to roll now. What is this? Ooh, multi-attack. Enemy stunned. That seems really useful. Tactical advantage again. Okay, let's keep all of this. We can roll three times before the end of the round. What is this? Ooh, we got a combo with something. Headbutt. Stun them. Or evade another shield. I think I'll keep these three. I'm gonna toss this, but there is a chance that we don't get anything on this dice. 
Does it do anything by itself? No. I think I'll risk the reroll. Just because it doesn't do anything by itself, and I don't, these don't really do anything by itself either. Let's reroll that. Nothing. Okay, darn. It's fine. We're gonna shield up. And then... We're gonna multi-attack with our crane fist. Oh, and they're both stunned. That's the end of that for us. Oh, double attack, but luckily we have the shield, so we didn't get any damage. Let's roll. Ooh, what is this? Ram. How much health does he have? One. Okay, let's actually... This does one. Does this do anything? Nope. Nope. Okay, what is my special attack? Well, Iron Wire Fist, perfect. Okay, we are going to do this. Stab him with a sword. Perfect. And we are going to Iron Wire Fist. Eight. Our character is really strong. They are getting angry at us. I'm gonna loot them. Ooh, they have a horn flute. Some rope and a torch. I feel so bad. Drylands is over here. Oh, that's a camping spot. Perhaps we should head that way. So we're no longer being followed because we killed the following part. I feel so terrible. Oh, new area discovered. Okay, before we get to the campground, I think I'm going to have to end it here. It has gone pretty long. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.